The income tax probe has widened against Congress MP Dheerat Sahu. Raids continued now for a week. More businesses and distilleries have come under the income tax salutes radar. So far, sources say 351 crore rupees in cash, 3 kilograms of gold have been seized. The Congress is distancing itself from Sahu. But who will answer for the cash mountain? It's our other top story. Three hundred and fifty-one crore rupees in cash and three kilograms of gold recovered from the businesses and properties linked to Congress Party's Rajya Sabha Member of Parliament from Jharkhand, Dheeraj Prasad Sahu. The search operations that began on the sixth of December are still on. The trouble seems to be mounting for him, and it is far from over. The raids, the IT raids that started last Wednesday is still on, rather it has intensified. The IT officials have pressed into, last night they pressed into service a geo-surveillance system to find out whether any metallic substance, ornament, jewelries are lying beneath the ground or not. The income tax department officials were at Sahu's Ranchi residence. Sushila Niketan on Wednesday. The tax evasion probe that started with Bud Distilleries, Baldev Sahu Infra Private, and other group companies linked to Dheerat Sahu's family has now spread to other firms in Odisha. The cash hole, the biggest ever India has seen in a single operation, is now a political flashpoint. Prime Minister Narendra Modi shared a BJP meme calling the whole controversy Money Heist, a popular Netflix series on bank robbers. Prime Minister Modi accused the Congress of a heist for the past 70 years. Congress party is, uh, you know, Keeping quiet despite of the amount of money which is tumbling out of Dira Sahu's cupboard and even machines are tired of counting the notes. Still Congress is accusing the agencies. Corrupt people are saying that Congress days were their best days because they could loot and Congress party also loots. For the Congress, the cash recoveries are a huge embarrassment. The party has asked the member of parliament to explain the cash hole. Is ka paisa hai kisko malum hai? Ek aadmi ko diya hai. Thik hai, wo to Congress ka sansad hai. Lekin Congress party ka usme lenden kya hai? Congress party ka koi lenden unke saath nahi hai. He is a businessman. Unhi ka jo hai business jo kar rahe, kya kar rahe, kya nahi hai. Wo income tax department statement dene ke baad isko upar ham bolen. Dheerat Sahu's family has been supporters of the Congress party since pre-independence days. His father, Rai Bahadur Baldev Sahu, was a freedom fighter and his brother, Shiv Prasad Sahu, was a Congress party MP. The family has considerable clout in the Lohar Daga and neighboring areas in Jharkhand, where they run colleges, schools and even hospitals. The Sahus have a thriving liquor business in Odisha from where most of the cash recoveries have been made. With Satyajit Kumar, Bureau Report, India Today. Let's raise more big questions. Does cash drive Indian politics? Has this massive cash haul ended up embarrassing the Congress? Will corruption become a poll issue leading up to 2024? Jay Prakash Narayan, founder Lok Satta Movement, who's been speaking out on money politics for a long time, joins us. Madhu Yaksh Gaud, Congress spokesperson and its leader from Telangana with us. Sanju Varma, BJP spokesperson with us to you. Madhu, uh, first, because uh, the truth is the Congress party is, is finding it almost impossible to defend this. How do you defend the fact that your MP, three-time MP, has 350 crores and counting in cash. What is the defense the Congress party has when you target others for corruption and then see what happens in your own cupboard? Razdeep, how can you link an individual, individual's crime or individual's act 
act of deeds to the party. When BJP ministers and MLS in Karnataka caught giving cash and taking cash. So did we say that entire party is to be blamed? So whatever act the law is can why take its you, own why don't you at least Government say that there, uh, why don't you at least politics. order an in-house inquiry into this or say he's suspending pending inquiry give some impression that you're willing to act against your own as the first prime minister would answer when he in demonetization what did he said that is introduced demonetization to curb the black money where does system failed here how does an individual not only this person or during elections you must have seen hundreds of crores being caught cash i go i can't go to, I, I can't get more than a lakh rupee a 50 th more than 50000 rupees at a time from my own account how could an individual can getting this kind of cash what was prime minister said during demonetization no no i'll, I'll ask said, I, I, the, the bjp has to answer the up. questions about no demonetization i'm asking you does the congress party intend to act against mr dheeraj sahu or not or are you going to simply say, look, it's his own individual private business. We are not interested in what he does in his private business. How can you make that distinction? Many politicians, Srojana Group MP, joined BJP party. He was accused by the I court of Telangana that over 5,000 crores have been defrauded from the banks. And when he joined the BJP, there's no inquiry happens. So let, let, let law take its own course. The departments are there. Mm -hmm. Any individual committed a crime, let them take action on it. Okay. Why so you're why saying let, a party to respond. It? You're saying Many let politicians. The law, you're saying I don't let have the law take business. its own course. Many okay. politicians in all parties have their own businesses. Okay. Let me ask you, Sanju Varma. You know the BJP is leaping. Uh, you know the BJP is leaping with joy, saying it's a money heist. Them. It's a sign of corruption in the Congress. You know what someone told me today in parliament, imagine if an opposition MP has 350 crores, how much a ruling party MLA MP must be having. And there are instances, Madhu Yakshi Gaud is citing them, of your own Rajya Sabha MPs who are accused of serious banking frauds. Some of them joined in from the Telugu Desam. And the moment they joined your party, all the inquiry against them was stopped. You are the washing machine. If they have the cash, you are the washing machine for the cash is the argument. Rajdeep. Uh, you know, I've been listening patiently and today you can't accuse me of heckling the panelists from the Congress. And, uh, you know, first and foremost, let me tell you, I'll straight come to the point without ifs or buts. I am known for calling a spade a spade and I'm not going to disappoint you or your audience today. First and foremost, let's be very clear. What is the difference between BJP and Congress? When uh, Virupak Shappa and his son were caught with about seven to eight crore rupees worth of cash and a probe is still pending in the Loka Yukta. The uh, case is sub judice. The entire Congress top brass, right from Rahul Gandhi to Priyanka Vadra to Sonia Gandhi said, Virupak Shappa ko Karnataka Assembly elections ke liye ticket nahi milni chahiye. We refuse to give ticket to both father and son duo. Nobody from the BJP said treat Virupak Shappa with kid gloves. Point number one. Now look at the irony. DK Shivkumar, CM in waiting in Karnataka, the deputy to Siddharamaya, D.K. Shivkumar, faces money laundering investigation. That case is also still sub -judice. in a disproportionate asset case to the tune of 700 crores plus. Have you seen anyone from the Congress cabal condemning D.K. Shivkumar? They've actually mollycoddled him and said, Sub Changasi, he's our deputy chief minister. Now let me come to the case of R. Ambika Pati, the BBMP contractor who made famous that allegation, Are BJP ke Karnataka Sarkar, is 40% commission Sarkara. When R. Ambika Pati made charges against BJP, the entire Congress cabal said, Sab Changasi, R. Ambika Pati is Raja Harish Chandra incarnate. But now that two months back, R. Ambika Pati was found with 42 crores in cash, unaccounted for. He is the husband of an ex-Congress councillor and he is the brother-in-law of Congress's Akhanda Srinivasa Murthy. One minute, please. That time everybody said, why should we take our Ambika you are, Pati you are charges not answering seriously? The question Let starts. me finish. I did not no, 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 Sanju Varma, my question was, the all Congress has to definitely answer about Dheeraj Sahu. You will have to answer about all those who are shifting from, from, the, opposi from the opposition to your party and suddenly all inquiries are stopping. Naturally, no, no, one minute, ma'am. 
You no, answer you my simple question. There were Rajya Sabha MPs in your party who moved from Telugu Desam to your party. Their inquiries against them are stopped. There are those from Shiv Sena who have moved to your party. Inquiries against them have slowed down. Only yesterday, the enforcement director suddenly seems to have decided there is nothing they have found against Chagan Bujbal because he is now in your party. You are the washing machine. They are the cash. They are the cash machine. You are the washing machine. Rajdeep, let me be. Let me be very honest with you. Why is it? That whenever charges are leveled against the Congress, the Congress is not able to defend. The Congress panelist here was indulging in what about me? Who comes to the defense of the Congress uh, panelist? It is Please answer. No, no. You are the government. Who pretends to be a neutral journalist? I am a neutral journalist. I have no time for either the washing machine or the cash machine. Yes, sir. Madam, I have no time for either your washing machine or their cash machine. I speak for the citizens of this country. Get that right today. I speak for the citizens who are sick and tired of corruption and each of you blaming in the other. Don't tell me you are dudes and dhuli hui your party. All of you are stinking in that corruption at the moment. That's the truth. You are using cash for politics. Now please stop. So don't you blame me for being neutral. I asked him the questions. I will ask I'm you the question. I'm answering you did not handle him even once. No, because Please you are making personal charges. Neutrality. I am tired of these personal charges. Yes, so now let me finish. Yes. Let me finish. You raised an important point. I will, you know, agree to your charge of BJP is a washing machine. The day you post a single tweet saying that yes, there should be a thorough probe into Rahul Gandhi facing charges in the National Harris Camp. The day you say Sonia Gandhi should face charges for uh, the National Harris Camp. There's the an inquiry say, going on. Please no, arrest them. Chupraho, Please Chupraho. arrest them. I am saying, I'm going further. I am saying arrest Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi if they have committed corruption. Please arrest them, madam. You are arrest them, you know. You are arrest them, you know. You are the government, arrest them. You are I'm a poor farmer who grew seven crore worth of cauliflower and cabbages on my balcony. Rajdeep Sarvesai ke mu mein sevi kaun jam jata hai? Nein, nein, please arrest the ball. Madam Sarkar aapki hai. Anyway, I, I, producer, I have to go to Jai Prakash Narayan because I've heard both sides. Neither of them, both of them in their own way live in denial. Sanju Varma says we are not a washing machine. And Madhu Yaksha Gaud, just a minute, Mr. Gaud. You are also not willing to accept that your MP has been caught with 350 crores in cash and you are not willing to act against him. I want to ask you, Jai Prakash Narayan. I speak for the citizen. Just please lower the volume of both the politicians. Jai Prakash Narayan, you know... We, you, we've just seen an election in Telangana. I was there. I was told amounts that were staggering. That average 30, 35 crores were being spent per constituency. You tell me, Jay Prakash Narayan. I mean, both these major parties come on my show and claim that, you know, being holier than thou. What is the reality? And is there a solution? Rajdeep, let us raise the issue above polemics. Atal Bihari Vajpayee as Prime Minister repeatedly stated in the House, in the Parliament, that all of us are starting our political careers with a lie. Signing an affidavit that we spent within the expenditure ceiling prescribed by the law. Repeatedly he said that. So if we forget the political attacks on each other, there is a deep crisis, particularly, you know, you said Telangana quite rightly. Southern states are the worst, minus Kerala, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu. Madhu knows very well. Only thing is, it's very difficult to admit publicly when there is a deeper crisis. It's not about this party or that party. You are right. 25 to 30 to 40 crores is a pretty normal expenditure in assembly constituency for a major party candidate in these states. Even Northeast and Jammu and Kashmir expenditure is mounting. No, but why? But states states I, may attack. I ask you, why is there no fear? You see, if, if you and I ha had cash in, in our houses of this, of, even uh, you know, of, of a few lakhs, we would be worried. Here, there seems to be a willingness to brazen it out. Either, either it means there's no fear of the law, or they are protected by the law. One is Rajdeep desperation. Elections, you have to somehow win. No matter what consequences, you have to raise money and spend it. And all of it illegitimate, because only a part of the expenditure is legitimate. You're talking about 30, 40 crores. No more than two or three crores, even if it is illegal technically because you exceeded the ceiling, 
at least that's a legitimate expenditure for campaigning. Most expenditure is for bribing the voters. If you don't distribute money across the whole spectrum in a first past the post system, the parties feel that they have no chance. It does not mean that by spending money, distributing money, you get elected. That means you have an entrance fee. You are considered a serious candidate. No, if you I, don't spend so money, you have no point. realistic chance. I, I'm asking you, why is it that there is no fear of the law? That a Dheerat Sahu can believe that he can store 350 crores of cash. No one will do anything about it. As I said, A, desperation. B, everybody knows it's a game played by all the parties. And increasingly, the party in power is denying the access to cash to the party in opposition. In some states, that's happening. But they have also figured out mechanisms how to overcome this. For instance, now in Telangana, I understand tokens were distributed. Even before the election was notified in some constituencies, large quantities of you know, in-kind things like Russia cocos, etc., in the names of individual voters with all Aadhaar cards, etc., with receipts, they were all, orders were given, they were all ready and they were distributed. So, you, unless you figure out a way of addressing through electoral system change, merely by regulation and enforcement, if you think you can stop it, I think we have found, we've gone too far beyond that. So, you believe, the electoral, must so you believe elections, are the, problem, are you elections are the root of it? Are you telling me elections are the root of it? Happens. Or you must switch over to an electoral system like proportionality model with certain changes required to suit Indian conditions okay. so that the incentive for the candidates and the parties to bribe the voters disappears. Because in that case, mm -hmm. the vote share will determine the seats, not winning one more vote in the constituency. Okay. It's a systemic problem. So you're saying the problem is systemic. You have to tackle it. But Madhu Yakshagaut, System may take long time to change. If the Congress party, if Rahul Gandhi claims he wants clean politics, why does he not in some form take a strong stand on, on Mr. Sahu? The fact is he's a three-time Rajya Sabha MP. And I'll tell you what the buzz is. The buzz is he was made a, 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 an MP the third time because he paid off someone in your Congress party. Your Congress party today is branded in many states as an ATM. This is the problem. That all these leaders are ATM for your central leaders. How do you respond? Unless you act against them, Suspicion is, dal mein bahut kuch kala hai tumhara. No, no, madam, let, let him answer, then I'll come to you. He has to answer Rajdeep, today. Don't worry, Rajdeep, don't be impatient. Rajdeep. Yeah, quick. First, first, yes. Rajdeep, first, quickly, I agree with Ms. Jayaprakash Narayan that you need an electoral reforms. And second, uh, my answer to your question is, is not linked to, neither is in the government, nor is linked with any government act of making that money. Mm -hmm. If an individual in a party MP is making that money or made that money, and if he caught, he is liable to get punished. Mm -hmm. Who are you asking, linking to the party here? So he, he, was, he, was he in the part of the government? Was Congress parties made him or make made him to facilitate sir, but you, facilitate sir, to but you know the fact is you so will not be able government? to point a finger oh, at, at the bjp the they will point four there. fingers at you departments are there well any any individual committed a crime beat in a bjp congress are liable to be punished okay. who will punish it's the government okay it's the government and the departments who who's in the government why Modi is not, instead of, he is the Prime Minister of the country, instead of taking action on any individual, committed a crime, he is just making a quoting a Netflix serial. He is a Prime Minister or is he is just a spokesperson of the party? Okay. He is the Prime Minister of the country. Okay, you made and your point. And entire departments are is under control. You... Who is stopping him to take an action? Be it in a Sahu or any other person. Okay, you made, you made your point, sir. I am asking uh, uh, Sanju Verma 30 seconds. Just simple question. Can you tell me if the ED and IT will also initiate raids of this kind in any BJP ruled state against any BJP leader? Or are you saying every BJP leader is above this election, they are doing clean politics and everyone else does the cash politics? Is that what you are going to tell me on this show today and expect our viewers to believe it? Rajdeep Sardesai, you know, you come to me at the end, you ask me a lengthy question, now give me those 30 seconds that you promised. I will tell you this. आपने पूछा क्या मेरी पार्टी और मैं दूध की धुली हूँ? जी हाँ मैं दूध की धुली हूँ। क्या मेरी पार्टी राजा हरिशंद्र का अवतार है? जी हाँ राजा हरिशंद्र का अवतार है कांग्रेस के मुकाबले। Because Congress is a con job and I'll tell you the difference. Virupak Shappa is still facing trial. But tell me honestly, Rajdeep, now why are you not stopping this man from hacking me? Can I please make my point? Yeah, let's finish, finish, finish. Thank you. Look at the audacity of Jairam Ramesh. He says. हमारा धीरज साहू के साथ कोई लेना देना ही नहीं है। धीरज साहू इस नोटों में ये थ्री टाइम राज्यसभा एमपी, हिज ब्रदर गोपाल साहू कंटेस्टेड
in Lok Sabha 2019 on a Congress ticket. His first cousin Rajeshwar Sahu contested 2019 elections on a Congress ticket. His own brother Shiv Prakash Sahu has been a Congress MP. जब धीरज साहु के घर से कैश बरामद होता है जयराम रमेश राहुल गांधी प्रियंका वड्रा दी लाइक्स ऑफ राजदीप सरदेसाई सबके मुंह में से भी नहीं नहीं राजदीप तो नो दिस दिस इज वेर आई ड्रॉ द लाइन मेरे मुंह पे कभी फेविकॉल नहीं रहता मैडम मैडम आई वॉन्ट टू टेल ऑल ऑफ यू पॉलिटिशियंस टूडे मैडम आई वॉन्ट टू टेल ऑल यू पॉलिटिशियंस वेरी क्लियरली डू नॉट आइडेंटिफाई डू नॉट आइडेंटिफाई मी विथ योर पॉलिटिक्स आई एम नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन योर कांग्रेस बीजेपी पॉलिटिक्स आई थिंक सैडली ऑफ अ कंट्री वेर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी फोर क्रॉस प्रोड्यूस ऑफ पुट द वॉइस थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी वन क्रॉस ऑफ कैश इज बिंग फाउंड इन अ कंट्री वेर मिलियन स्टिल लिव ऑन द मार्जिन ऑफ बिलो पॉवर्टी लाइन दैट्स द डिसअपॉइंटमेंट एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ होलियर देन दाउ स्टेटमेंट मेड बाई वेरियस गवर्नमेंट मिनिस्टर्स इट्स टाइम दैट दे एक्टेड अगेंस्ट ऑल ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ दैम नो वॉशिंग मशीन नो कैश मशीन that's what we want that's when we will believe that the system is actually working in the interest of the common honest citizen tax paying citizen of this country and i want each and every one of you there viewers to think about that